New CBS News polls reveal a tight presidential race and sustained skepticism over the president's handling of coronavirus. Our latest battleground tracker shows former Vice President Joe Biden leading President Trump by nine points in Minnesota. Biden also has a slight edge over Mr. Trump in traditionally red Arizona, where the president will travel tomorrow. Nicole Killian is in Las Vegas, where President Trump spent the day rallying supporters. Day two of President Trump's Silver State Swing featured a sit-down with Latinos in Las Vegas. I'm truly honored to be here today with Latinos for Trump. And a rally further south in Henderson, where some supporters camped out overnight. I'm not wearing a mask. That's a, it shows that I trust my president. Well, I won't be wearing my mask. Uh, I'm, I'm a healthy American. A sentiment echoed at the president's kickoff event Saturday near Lake Tahoe, where he railed against Nevada's Democratic governor, who banned large gatherings. The governor tried to stop us. He couldn't. Fallout over the president's pandemic response mounts as journalist Bob Woodward releases his new book, Rage, this week. I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. What would it mean if the president went, came out and said the sky is falling and everybody should be panicked? He, he presented calm and a steady hand. Donald but Trump didn't do his job. As the Biden campaign tried to keep the pressure on, the former vice president remained off the trail in Wilmington. Aides disputed an enthusiasm gap. So the reality is Vice President Biden is actively campaigning, as is Senator Harris. But the difference is we're doing so safely. Biden's former primary rival, Bernie Sanders, denied reports he has been privately pushing for the campaign to do more to woo liberals and Latinos. Biden is in an excellent position to win this election. Uh, but... I think we have got to do more as a campaign than just uh, go after Trump. Another former opponent, Mike Bloomberg, announced he will invest $100 million to help Biden in Florida. Biden campaigns there this week, while President Trump will meet with more Latino voters in Phoenix Monday. Major? Nicole Killian, thank you.